Do you know what RetroArch is? Because if you don't, you came to the right place. RetroArch is a program which lets you emulate most retro consoles on it. I'll be showing you a full list of all of the consoles that are available on it on the screen now. To download RetroArch, go to a browser and type in RetroArch. When you're in the RetroArch page, go to Downloads. Scroll down to the Windows 10 slash 8 slash 7 and select either the Download 64-bit or the Download 32-bit. Once it's finished downloading, open it in its folder. As you see, RetroArch is a WinRAR file, so we need to open that with WinRAR. Drag this file into WinRAR, then extract it. Once it's finished downloading, open it in its folder. <coughs> Scroll down until you see RetroArch.exe. Or just RetroArch, matters what Windows you're on. I usually send a shortcut to my desktop, so I'll do that now. Once you have RetroArch, open it. As you see, this is RetroArch. You can use the up and down arrows to move, left right arrows to move, enter and backspace to go in or out. Since I'm going to be playing Smash Melee, which is on the GameCube, I'm going to set up a GameCube emulator. To find the emulators, press on load core, then download a core. You will see all of these different emulators that you will have access to. This is all in RetroArc and you don't have to use any external devices. The emulator that I'll be using is the Dolphin emulator, which emulates GameCube and Wii consoles. To download it, press enter on it. It will automatically extract it to your computer, and you won't have to do anything. And just like that, you installed an emulator. To actually access a game in RetroArch, make sure that this is in your C folder. How do you do that? Go to Task Manager and go to Local Disk C. In there, we can make a new folder. I'll name my folder ROMs because that's where all the game ROMs for RetroArch I'll be keeping. Then, you just drag this file into the ROMs file that you just created. Now, when you open up RetroArch, you go to this plus icon, and go to Scan Directory. Go to your C file, because that's where you stored it, and go to the folder you just created which is called ROMs. There, you can scan the trajectory. Once it's done scanning the directory, exit out.
Then, you would need to exit out of RetroArch and enter it again. After reloading RetroArch, a little icon should po pop up with the GameCube controller. As you see here, I've already downloaded some games. To actually play the game, scroll down on the controller to your game, press enter, and press enter on the run. As you see, the game is loading now. It'll take a couple of seconds for the game to fully load. You can hook up any driven controller and set it up with Spreadshark. If you want a tutorial on how to do that, comment and leave a like. After a couple of seconds of loading, your game should start up. And I can do anything on it. Choose your character, Fox!